everyone and welcome back to another script tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make vanilla GUIs without using add-ons like Tuska and stuff like that. This is completely made just with script. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. So we're in my newly created script file. I'm using Adam to make my scripts, but you can really use whatever. Visual Studio Code is also a great program for this stuff. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a command and we're going to just name it head GUI. You can name this whatever you want, of course, but this is just a command to actually open the GUI. So next here, we're going to add the trigger. And then the way that you open a virtual chest with vanilla script is you set a metadata tag named whatever you want it to be named. I'm going to name it head GUI. And then you're going to put off player to chest inventory with whatever rows. I'm going to use three rows. So it's just the size of a normal single chest. So rows and then you can name it something. So I could just name it like um, head GUI as well. That's basically how you open it up. So you set a metadata tag instead. And metadata tag is pretty much like a variable. Um, it holds data, but it's it's mostly used for like entities and blocks and stuff. Um, anyway, then we want to set a slot. So in my script right here, I want a slot with a player head. You can click it and receive your own head. So that's basically what I want right now. So I'm going to set a slot and my slot is going to be slot 13, which is going to be in the middle of the GUI. And then you want to put off metadata tag and then the name of your metadata tag again of player two and then whatever item you want it to be so I want it to be the player's head actually it's the player's skull named whatever so I'm gonna name this something like we can use the player's name, so we're gonna use player within these percentage tags, so it would display the name of the player, and we can put an S here, so it's players and head, for example. We can also add a lore, so with lore, click to get your head, for example. Also, a quick little thing, if you're using Adam, you can go to view and toggle soft wrap and this will make the whole line just break up and go down to the next line instead of you having to scroll in order to see the whole line you know so it's gonna break it up for you which is pretty useful I use that a lot and now we have set this stuff in the metadata tag but we actually need to open it as well so we're just gonna open and we're going to put metadata tag and as we did before, going to use the name of it so we know which one we're, we're opening of player to player. So that's that. Now we have actually created a GUI. You can, of course, add more slots. If you want another slot, you can set another slot down here and just keep going with all the slots if you want that but that's not what I want right now hey did you know that only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed so why not subscribe man if you if you enjoy what you see and you would like to see more then please consider subscribing it helps me out a lot we're gonna go down and create a new thing down here which is on inventory click if you're using Tuska you can use to run after your format UI slot um, but if you want to do it with just using vanilla script 
then you have to add an inventory click in order to add like that something will actually happen when you click on these slots. So first off, we're going to make sure that the GUI that we're clicking in or the inventory that we are clicking in is the GUI up here. So we're going to say if event inventory is equal to again this here this up here so i'm just going to copy that metadata tag the name that we specified of player and a colon so if the inventory that is being clicked is the right inventory then we can cancel event and that is pretty much to make the items stay so if we don't cancel the event you would actually be able to take items out of the GUI but we don't want that right now then you can do if index of event slot is 13 so now I'm just making sure that they're actually clicking the slot 13 which would be the player head um, and if they are we're going to give one of players skull to player. And that's the whole script. That's how you make a vanilla GUI. It's not that hard. It's actually pretty simple. You got to make the metadata tag. You got to add slots to it. And then you got to remember to actually open it as well. And if you want stuff to happen when you click on the items you gotta add an on inventory click as well and yeah so let's uh, let's test this out in game and let's see how it works all right so I'm using Minehut to host my server and I'm on the dashboard right now and you just need to go to file manager plugins script and scripts and then we're gonna add a new script we're gonna call it vanilla GUI dot sk and we're gonna find it it will be somewhere here at the bottom and we're just gonna paste in our script and save it and that's pretty much it then you just gotta reload it on the server and we'll check it out all right so we're back in game and i'm gonna run the command head gui and as you can see it opens up a gui it says head gui and there's my head fansav's head click to get your head and when I click it, I get my head in my inventory right here. I can click it multiple times, get more heads, whatever. But uh, yeah, it works perfectly. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any further questions, make sure to join my Discord server link in the description. And uh, yeah, like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.